Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the little bit of a tube, hope you're feeling grand, and all is well in your world. Hello there, everybody. I certainly am, as I have this pedal show you today, so I want to make noise with this thing, so I'm going to quickly speed on talking. Uh, okay, so this has been very, very kindly sent to me by the awesome people at Mad Professor, and it's their pedal, the Super Black. And I want to marry this pedal and have its babies. It's ridiculously awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. I, uh, I don't have enough good words to say about this pedal. I don't know how Mad Professor do this, but what they've done is they've amalgamated all the amazing classic tones you can get out of Fender Blackface amplifiers and put it in a pedal. How? How? Is there mini... Like, have, they, have they just got like loads of mini Fender amps? Put them in a shrinker. Put them down to this size. And they're all in here somewhere. There's like deluxes and... And twins and all that. They're in there somewhere. They're just really small. And they're all daisy chained together. And when you turn it on. That's what happens. I don't know. But one can wish. Anyway. <laughs> moving along. So this pedal is amazing. Yeah it's. Like I say. It's Mad Press is kind of like. Like it's, it's, it's a black face fender. And they've done it. They have succeeded. This thing feels. Responds. Sounds. Exactly like a black face fender. It's terrifying. Um, having. I've been lucky enough to play through a lot of old kind of black faces, like uh, like um, I play through a lot of kind of like you know uh, deluxes and and super reverbs and twins and stuff like that. This thing feels and sounds and responds exactly the way they do. It's really creepy. It's really creepy. But the beautiful thing about this thing is, is it's the old black faces can be a little bit temperamental. This is not so much. Yeah, if I, if I, yeah, don't, don't hurt me. But like sometimes those old uh, blackface amps would be absolutely stunning and they would be just like, oh, this is heaven. And then some days they'd be like, Ugh! and horrible. But uh, this isn't. This is just like consistency. And, I, and you all know how I love consistency. So anyway, um, yeah. So let's quickly talk about what it is. Okay, so left side, this engages, this button here engages the main part of the pedal. So uh, on the top row here, you've got a bass dial, middle dial, treble dial, which will be used once today. Other than that, it'll be on zero. Uh, and then you've got a gain dial here on the on the right on the far right side. Uh, and then on the bottom row, you have volume, presence, and then we get to the two dials for the right side of the pedal. What Mad Professor have done because they're just lovely people, um, they've added their Honey Drive uh, pedal into this right side. So this. These two dials here, volume and drive, are from the Honey Drive. And you can basically just kind of add that in over the top just to push this left side if you want. Or you can use it independently if you want. So you can have a you can have the main side on and add the honey add the uh, the honey drive on, or you can just have the honey drive on and it just pushes your amp a bit more. That's I mean that's ridiculously cool. Okay, so then you, and then below the dials you've got these two little switches that go left and right. You've got a bass cut here. When it's left, you get more bass. When it's right, you get a bass cut. And then you've got a compression dial here, which I am absolutely in love with. Um, the compression dial basically, when it's on the left, it's kind of like low range. It's, you know, it, it cuts the sensitivity down a bit. And when you're on the right side, it boosts the sensitivity, so you get kind of like full range of the, of the, of the sound. And I pretty much have it on the right side pretty much all the time, apart from if I'm doing really clean stuff. But this pedal responds in such a way that you can have this pedal really gained up, roll down your volume, and it just goes crystal clear, and it sounds like a Fender amp. I don't get how they've done it, and it also looks ridiculously cool. Okay, so so that's what that is. So, so today what we're going to do, I'm going to run it through the clean channel of my uh, Marshall MG, and then we're going to try it for a couple of different amps as well. We're going to hear some kind of, you know, about a one minute example of kind of it, these kind of sounds that I've got, I've just been messing around with. And then I'm going to go and plug it into a Boss Katana. I'm going to plug it into my Carlsbro amp as well, because I want a real spring reverb at one point just to see uh, what it does. And I'm also going to plug it through another amp, which I'm not going to tell you about at this point in time, but you'll see soon. But, um... And then also, at the end of the video, you can run the Super Black into the effects... It's either send or return and bypass the pre uh, part of the amp. So we'll do that at the end and we'll see which one, you know, sounds better or, you know, or different, how, how they differ, basically. So we'll run it into the front end and then we'll run it into the effects loop and then we'll see how, you know, what, what, how it differs in sound. So, uh, so anyway, without further ado, 
let's get playing because that's what I want to do. I don't really want to talk. This pedal speaks for itself and it sounds glorious. So be quiet, Dave. Oh, I don't know, he just can't stop talking. And uh, yeah, let me introduce you all to the Mad Professor Super Black. This pedal is ridiculously awesome.
Okie dokie, so um, I'm having immense amounts of fun. Uh, probably illegal amounts of fun, but I'm loving this so much. So the last thing I'm going to do today, everybody, in the video, um, is we're going to plug the Super Black into the effects, what is it, the effects return? Yes, the return, because you can bypass the front of the amp. So what we're going to do, we're going to see which one, how, how they differ, basically. So uh, I'm going to do one like kind of like riff, if you will, kind of Steve Ray Vaughan-esque kind of like riff that I've got um, through the front end, and then we'll plug it into the effects return in the back, and we'll kind of be like a side side by side just to see you know which one sound you know how it sounds different. Because I'm really curious about this. So uh, so without further ado. Let's try it out. So yeah, so it goes in the, it was it the uh, return jack. Okay, so uh, let's give this a go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, front end first, if you can hear me. <laughs>
Okie dokie, so uh, there we go everybody. Uh, that, that last kind of little craziness, I just thought I'd, I'd extend it a bit because that's just through the effects return. You know, just a bit different. Uh, I find uh, through the effects return it's a lot cleaner, obviously because you haven't got a preamp there, so it's, it's just very, very clean. Uh, I did like it, but it's not the way I'd run it. I would just run it through the front end myself, but it is cool nonetheless. You've got some really cool sound. That fully overdriven distortion, distortion sound was a wicked sound. I loved it. Um, so yeah, so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. I can't recommend checking this pedal out enough. It's wicked. Massive, massive thanks to Mad Professor for sending this for me to review. I've loved every second of it, apart from when I pressed delete on all my old videos. But this video definitely felt better, so I'm kind of like, I'm happy about it. I was determined to like push a bit harder with this one. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to be beaten down by me just being, you know, a silly human and making a silly human mistake. We were gonna, we were gonna make it better today. So hopefully, hopefully I did that. But we'll never know because I deleted the old ones. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Uh, I'll see you again on Monday for another one. I uh, don't know what that's gonna be. We'll, we will see. But yeah, this pedal is wicked, and it really is a fender in the box. It responds so awesomely, and oh my gravy. That will do. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you again very soon for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh, yeah, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Goodbye now.